Hey, today is Tuesday, July the 30th, and uh, we're talking this week about wealth, about uh, treasures, stewardship, all kinds of things, being generous uh, this week going on. And the prompt in the Quest 52 book that we're reading together, the daily prompt, said to read several proverbs. And these proverbs are all on the theme of wealth, of of um, you know, having things, poverty and wealth. And, and there's a bunch of, I'm not going to read all of them. I, I had them printed off right here, but I'm not going to read all of them. I'd love for you to read all of them. I'm just going to read a few kind of the middle of this. Um, for example, Proverbs 3, verse 27. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to act. 10.4. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. 11.25. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. 12.11. Those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase fantasies have no sense. 14.23. All hard work brings a profit. A mere talk leads only to poverty. 28.27. Those who give to the poor will lack nothing. But those who close their eyes to them receive many curses. Let me ask you a question. Uh, this is something I want you to consider. And, and I'm not telling you I'm right necessarily. I just want you to consider this. What if all these things we're reading that talk about wealth and poverty and prosperity and, and uh, being generous and giving and withholding, what if all of these things are really not talking about worldly wealth, dollars, but what if they're talking about kingdom wealth? What if we're talking about wealth in a kingdom that is not now? It is coming here. We are ushering it in through the Spirit of God, but it is in the future and eternity too. What if it's about kingdom wealth? What if we read all of these things and we see that if I give, if I'm generous, I prosper. If if I work hard, I I get wealth, maybe not worldly wealth, but kingdom wealth, a life full of joy, a life full of giving, a life full of loving, a life full of relationship, a life full of health. What if we've approached wealth wrong? Uh, there are some preachers out there that would tell you that if you serve God, if you're faithful to the Lord and you tithe and give, then you will be wealthy and, and you'll be healthy and all these things happen. A lot of that's not really in the Bible. What if, what if, the Word of God is talking about kingdom wealth. And we've missed the mark as we've tried to build our worldly wealth in the middle of it. I want you to consider today, as you read these verses in Proverbs, and look for others, just do a Google search on wealth in the Bible, read a little bit. I want you to consider today how you are living and is your living building kingdom wealth or worldly wealth. And I want to suggest that you want to find yourself on the side of the kingdom, not the world. Let me pray for you. Father God, I thank you for these words, this encouragement, and this truth. I ask that we would, uh, through your spirit, we would see the way toward kingdom wealth, and we would see the way toward being generous and prospering in your kingdom. And I just ask, Father, that as we move through this world, that we would leave a trail behind us, that is marked by the love and the light of your kingdom. Father, I pray that in everything we do and everything we give, you would be honored. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Church, I hope you have a great day as you, as you consider that question. Until I see you again, you are sent.